Hello children, today we are going to see in 6th standard 3rd volume, first lesson, English grammar. Under this heading, parts of speech, you have all studied, I hope so, okay? Have you all studied? Do you all know? When you see the word parts of speech, it contains 8 headings, okay? This 8, you have to keep it in mind. For that, you should remember how many directions do you know? The lower level, you study only 4 directions. But actually, there are 8 directions, okay? North, South, East, West, okay? North, East, North, West. Likewise, South, West, South, East. So, there are 8 directions. In the same way, spider also, you can remember. Parts of speech means it contains... Eight topics, okay. First one, noun. You should have studied in lower classes, no? Noun means names, naming words. There are different kinds of nouns. Do you know? I can hear your voice. Proper noun, common noun, collective noun and abstract noun, okay. Next topic, adjective. Adjective is nothing but describing the noun. Descri describing the naming words, okay? That is only adjective. Beautiful girl, tall building, okay? Likewise, beautiful, tall, these are adjectives. Next comes pronouns. Pronouns is a word used instead of a noun. Do you remember children, pronouns? See, for example, I, he, she, he, these are all pronouns. Next comes verbs. Verb means action words, doing, whatever, eat, sleep, drink, jump. These are verbs. You have studied. Do you remember children? Verbs. Okay. Next adverb is nothing but describing these verbs. How he writes? Neatly. How she dances? Beautifully. Okay. These are the adverbs. Okay. Next come preposition. Prepositions also? You might have studied. Preposition is the word which links a noun with another noun. Okay. In, to, at, on, these things. If not studied now, you will study in later stages. The next one is a blue letter noun. Broad one. Okay. They have highlighted and given. That chapter only we are going to see in this lesson. Conjunction. Conjunction is nothing but a word which links with another word, phrase, sentence, okay, or a sentence. This is called conjunction. We will see that deeply. Next, interjection. Interjection is an exclamatory words. Exclamatory words are called as interjection. That also you will study in later stages. So, today this chapter, in this class, we are going to see only conjunction, okay. Conjunction, you should know the spelling. You should able to read that word, conjunction. Conjunction is a word that joins two nouns, phrases or sentence, okay? Anything, it can join, okay? Two nouns, two names or a phrase, two phrases. While joining, we can use this conjunction or sentences. Actually, a conjunction, this topic is a broad one. There are different kinds of conjunctions. We will say subordinating conjunction and coordinating conjunction. There are many subordinating conjunctions are there. The same way coordinating conjunctions also many are there. You will see this in later classes. Now this level at the 6th standard level these 5 conjunctions are very very essential. You should know where to use, how to use and but, or, so, and because. These five conjunctions only we are going to see. We will learn with lot of examples. Okay. Conjunction and join two words. It won't not only join two words, but also two sentences and also phrases. Okay. And this word helps to join two words. Sometimes two sentences we will join. Sometimes two phrases also will join using this word and. Here see this, Ram, Hari, two friends. In the picture you see, they were sitting there. They were friends. 
wrong and hurry or friends okay next two and two make four this two and this two are connected with the word and okay it's a linker joining word that's all two words it is it helps to join two and two make four next one see i bought apples and oranges okay apples and oranges are linked or connected with the word and otherwise you have to say i bought apples i bought oranges likewise okay next see this picture the cricket players they are bowling ram is a bowler raj is a bowler okay to connect both and make it is a simple sentence we say ram and raj are bowlers okay understand ram and raj are bowlers next sentence is birds used to fly fish used to swim okay they have both have their own characters birds fly and fish swim birds fly and fish swim so both are in the same way it tells the character so we have to use and and means in tamil we'll say it as matrum usually you are going to market you are buying so many things okay you buy oranges apples vegetables and dresses last while using the last word before that you should use and if there are four too many words before the last word you have to use and i told you and is used to join two phrases also phrases you might have studied otherwise in later class you will study phrases are just a group of words which gives some meaning but not a complete meaning see here sit down take rest a while okay sit down take rest a while both so when you are joining these phrases sit down it has no noun subject see it has no subject no object but a word a group of word which gives meaning that is a phrase so sit down and take rest a while so when we are combining the phrases together we'll use and next is see sita she is a girl she ate a dosa so combining both the sentences she ate four idlis and a dosa so to make a sentence shorter otherwise to join two sentences together we'll use the word and always you should keep it in your mind and means matrum okay which has both same meaning similar way of meaning and joining the so sentences we'll use this and so next sentence we see but what is that word but do you remember but it is a word used to join sentences in contrast meaning or just opposite meaning okay but means in tamil we'll say on all what is it on all okay it was raining they continued the match okay it was raining okay so it is a one negative part they continued the mean match it is a positive one so to join the opposite meaning of sentence we'll use this but it was raining but they continued the match okay mara penjite irukke but still they are continuing the match they were not afraid they did not stop so it was raining but they continued the match see the next sentence he is weak see look at that fellow the boy he looks very lean okay very weak weak means lean not so strong okay there are two weeks are there w e a k weak another one do you know w e e k weak another word is there okay so while reading the sentence you should look at the spelling then only you can understand the correct meaning w e e k is days of the week okay seven days of the week so that is w e e k now he is he is weak means he is not strong but he runs very fast okay he has the capacity to run fast he is weak but he runs fast he is weak means he is it tells something negative about him okay but he runs fast his ability 
but he can run fast why why we are joining the sentence with the word but you should know okay next one sita is clever she did not score good marks she is a clever girl okay it tells her positive side good side she did not score good marks but she scored only less mark less than fail mark she might have got so because she is clever it is a positive sense and a did not score good marks is a negative sentence opposite meaning when we use that sentence with opposite meaning we'll use the word but sita is clever but she did not score good marks now do you understand children but where to use but let us see some more sentences see he is poor he is very poor he is honest honest poor means what yeah honest okay nirmaya navan is a good person okay he is poor he is poor but he is honest okay understand next sentence see i had fever i went to school i had fever but i went to school okay to opposite meaning of words but uh, they were joining with the word but next sentence see see the look at the picture he is a rich person he is rich means what panakaran he is stingy stingy means he won't like to spend all the money okay very kanjan used to say no he is very stingy okay. what is the use of our money with him nothing no ram is rich but he is stingy okay ram is rich but he is stingy do you all understand now how that to use but let us see that next conjunction is so conjunction so so is used to show result of the sentence one action has done what is the result what happened because of that action okay for that while joining the sentence we will use this word so i had fever what is the result of his i did not go to school okay i had fever so i did not go to school so so the word is used to refer the result of a former action okay munadi nadand action ude result enna abhi solachu we will use this word so sita broke the glass her mother scolded her okay the action was she broke the glass what is the result her mother scolded her so when we have these two actions to join these two sentences we will use so sita broke the glass so her mother scolded her understand where to use so so means adanal okay see the next sentence ram sang well he got the first prize who will get the prizes those who are doing very well in the competition only will get the prize now here ram sang very well he sang nicely beautifully he got the first prize so as a result because he is a good singer he was a good singer he got the first prize ram sang well so he got the first prize okay next sentence see raju drove fast he met with an accident raju was a driver see the picture he drove drive fast means drove raju drove fast what happened because he was driving fast he drove fast he met with an accident okay raju drove fast as a result so he met with an accident raju drove fast so he met with an accident i think you all understood the word where to use so okay children we have seen so far three conjunctions first and next but we have seen so also we have seen the next one is the conjunction we are going to see is or what is it or o r r is there another or is also there do you know a r e r okay a r e r it is a verb plural verb present tense let we'll use you are you are going to market they are singing 
they were playing likewise or is used but don't get confused children this o r is used for using giving choice options option or choice okay conjunction o r it is also or you can go by bus you can go by bicycle so now think you are going to school there are two choices for you to reach your school you can go by bus okay otherwise you can go by bicycle so to join this sentence you can go by bus or bicycle so you have two options okay bus or bicycle choice okay it's up to you to decide look at the next sentence children i need a pen i need a pencil okay there are two choices for you you can take pen or a pencil okay i need a pen or a pencil any one is enough no to write we can't write bo use both for writing at a time so one pen or a pencil let us see some more examples whether you understood or not okay to make you to understand i have given some more examples see you can wear blue dress you can wear red dress suppose you are going to a function with your parents okay you have lot of dresses you have selected two dress blue color one red color one you go and ask your mommy okay mommy shall i wear this or this blue color red color which one to join this we'll use this word or you can wear blue dress or red dress okay in it a next sentence saying you can sing carnatic music you can sing sini songs usually in the competitions they'll allow you to sing any type of music no so you, they may advertise you can sing carnatic music you can sing sini songs but both at a time we cannot sing okay only one song we are singing so that's why you are using you can sing carnatic music another choice or you can sing carnatic music or sini songs two options are there you can sing anything okay it's up to you to decide while using this type of sentences you have many choices we'll use this word or you can sing carnatic music or sini songs okay do you understand children now or where to use when you have options choice you have to use or okay the last one we are going to see because 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 means in and all result because for reason while using the sentence you should not get confused for both so means result because is for reason result na adanalu enna nadandathu appdi solla because means reasons means why it happened what is the reason okay we are going to see that i did not go to school i had fever so when you use this eh? so we had seen i had fever i did not go to school first one fever so the reason uh, result is i did not go to school but now in this because i did not go to school first okay i had fever yen enral reason yen a school ku pogala okay i did not go to school because i had fever the reason for action okay so for the result for that action because for a reason okay that action why it happened the reason when we say we we'll use because okay see the next sentence tom came late why he came late he missed the bus if you ask the question why it will answer the next part of the sentence then we can use because tom came late why he came why did he come late because he missed the bus to join these sentences we'll use because okay so one sentence action has given the next part of the sentence they have given why, why it ha it was happened so while joining these two sentence we'll use because because means yen enral tamil la enna solluvom yen enral see the next sentence see the boy he looks very tired why he looks very tired he did not eat breakfast okay he did not eat anything in the breakfast for the breakfast in the morning 
okay you students also sometimes if you have come to school without eating anything you will feel very tired you won't be so active no in the same way hari looks very tired because he did not eat breakfast children you should not miss your breakfast at all whatever at least one idli or two idli something you have to eat and come to school understand the next one saying sam score low marks sam score very less marks why why did he score you also sometimes students will get low marks if the teacher ask you to write a test the you have to study and come if you are not studied and come what will you do you will get low marks the same in the same way sam also score very low marks okay because he did not study well he did not study well a why he did not study well he scored low marks because he did not study well understand because meaning pain and draw now do you all understand children the five words we had seen the conjunction what are the words do you remember say first one what did you see ah, somebody is saying and the next word what do you see what we saw but next third one so the fourth one or yes you are correct or the fifth one or this side one boy says because so all these five words he had seen do you all understood the meaning where to use this word you should know to read the sentence understand the meaning of the sentence then only you can score full marks in this exercise okay first one here all of you take your book the first lesson pictogrammar okay they have given this five sentences as exercise okay let us all keep your fingers on the book the first line okay read along with me see the first sentence read our team played well that won the game three options they have given see the sentence but because and on seeing the word you have to understand the meaning but is used for opposite meaning because for reason and for words with same meaning just joining two words now he is look at the sentence our team played well won the game okay both are in the same category okay so we'll use and our team played well and won the game understand next second sentence see she slipped badly slipped slip means one meaning just a piece of paper another one slip slip means just falling down okay she fell down she slipped badly okay romba mosama keela vidutta she slipped badly dash she did not hurt herself okay see here three words meaning in the bracket what they have given but and or but for opposite meaning and for similar words joining or for choice which one will come here she slipped badly it's a negative side okay but she did not get any wound but will come there it is the opposite meaning nothing has happened because she fell down nothing has happened but okay she slipped badly but she did not hurt herself the box was heavy heavy means what very hot to lift okay with much weight heavy means with much weight the box was heavy dash dash he could not lift it okay he could not lift carry it okay take it out in his hand the box was heavy see here three options they have given so because and ye avanala thukka mudiyala box romba ganama irudhe so the box was heavy so he could not lift it see the next sentence rani was late to school she came late the another sentence is see she missed the bus okay she missed the bus 
why she came late to school because she missed the bus okay rani was late to school because she missed the bus see the next sentence the last sentence you can use your pen for writing you can use your pen a pencil also you can use no a pencil for writing now two options for there two choice so what you had to three options they have given but and or which will you select for choice ke o or for choice you have to select o or you can use your pen or a pencil for writing understand have you all taken down in your book okay let's go to the next exercise okay this is join the sentence of you column a and column b by using the words given in the last one okay brackets the first one see first while writing this match the following you should not simply put 1 2 3 and all try to understand the a part sentence fully read all the sentence and in the b part also you read all the sentence then you have to link the those sentences first one see the clouds moved away okay the clouds moved away clouds means what meham na moved away they just moved that from, from that place ange inda nagandiruchu the second sentence see velu thanked his friend he thanked nandri solran le velu thanked his friend third sentence it rained heavily okay it rained heavily next sentence it slowly how you have to hear it it slowly meduva see now you understand the meaning for the a part now let's come to the b part he helped velu in time next second sentence the sun came out next you will get choked choked means suffocation moochi vida mudiyam okay the next one the match continued match they played continuously okay now you know which one will come now you have to select only the linkers the first one see the clouds moved away what is there in the sky the sun came out so two actions see here the cloud moved away the sun came out okay both actions are similar the side move watching the side sun came out okay what will you use and understand so the clouds moved away and the sun came out if you know the meaning of the sentence then only you can find out the answer from the box the last of the parts of speech it is very very important that's why in the sixth standard itself they were insisting on this conjunction okay nice girls let us see in the next class goodbye children